some things really are classics. They never go out of style, like jean jackets, or aviators, and prints. And blackberries? This is the Blackberry Classic, and it's a throwback to everything that made a Blackberry, well, a Blackberry. It's got a fantastic physical keyboard, that always reliable LED to tell you you've got a message, and a trackpad. It even has Brick Breaker. Right, as I was saying, using the BlackBerry Classic, which goes for $450 unlocked on Amazon, is a lot like going back to 2004, when we used our smartphones mostly for work and email. That's a great thing if you can get more done with a physical keyboard, but very frustrating if you want to do more. If you are a BlackBerry user or were a BlackBerry user, reuniting with the classic feels like reuniting with a best friend. I know exactly what you're saying. Unlike BlackBerry's Passport, the classic is perfect for one-hand use. The aluminum sides and soft plastic back make the phone feel weighty, but really substantial. And then there's your glorious, almost perfect keyboard. Your rows separated by metal frets, those perfectly sculpted keys so I can type without having to look down. Instead of the row of navigation buttons and the trackpad, BlackBerry could have made the three and a half inch touchscreen bigger. But I have to say, I miss this little thing. It's great for editing an email with more precision. Also, brick breaker. But there's a lot of new stuff here too. The BlackBerry 10 web browser is now really, really fast, and it's easy to get to all your messages. Plus, the BlackBerry email and calendar apps still beat iOS and Androids for me. The battery isn't removable, but I've been getting a full day's charge. And this thing works great as an actual phone. Wow, it sounds like you're calling me from a lamp. But while I'd love for some of those BlackBerry features to make a comeback, others just feel so stuck in the past. While you can download Android apps from Amazon's store, many big ones are missing, including a really good Maps app. The preloaded one is useful if you need to know if you're in Midtown. And yes, you can load other Android apps manually on the phone, like Instagram, but it takes some work. And even then, when it comes to taking pictures, the Classic can't keep up with Android or iPhones. I also found the Classic to be slow at times, taking too much time to open an app or web page. The Classic lives up to its name. In fact, this is the best BlackBerry ever, and the phone to get if you need a real physical keyboard to plow through emails, manage your calendar, and search the web and pretty much nothing else. When you're using it, you feel like no time has passed at all. And that, of course, is its biggest drawback.